how to create a character in the D and D Beyond app. Okay, so we're in D and D Beyond. Uh, sometimes you might be here, here. You want to go to the bottom here and hit characters, right there. Okay, hit create new character. I'm gonna do uh, simple. So right here, go simple. Actually, that's not what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna hit uh, custom. Then it's going to give you an option. You can do it by uh, race and class. And that's what I'm going to do. It says here standard. And I'll say like um, quick build. So I want to do a quick build. Right? Start building. Click on that. Choose race and class. So I'm teaching uh, kids how to play D&D. So I'm going to make some uh, character sheets for them. So the one kid wants to be a ranger. So I'm going to Pick a human, the human, and then class. I'm going to go with Ranger. And then I'm going to put the character name in there. The kid's name is Eli. So we're going to go with that. Create character. Now, you'd think that would be it, but it's not. There's a couple things that come up. And um, what's nice about the app, though, is you get to, you don't have to write anything down. Go all the way to the bottom, hit next. Here it will tell you you have ability score increase. You don't get to pick anything. That's for being human. And then languages, you get languages. Now you can pick a language. And uh, I just gave the one guy uh, Draconic. This one, I guess, I don't know, Crawl. I don't even know what that is. All right, so um, we'll just leave that there. Hit next. Here... Because you're a ranger, you can pick a favored enemy. So I'm going to pick one for him. And I'm going to say that it's... Um, beasts. And then uh, you get to be a natural explorer. And you get an option there. So you get a grassland. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to do desert. Because we're going to actually play um, Star Wars. So he might be on Tatooine. He gets to pick another language, so we'll pick like Goblin, because that'll be like uh, Greedo. Remember Greedo? Maybe Greedo's going to be a Goblin. Hit Next. This gives all the ability scores. You can adjust these. Uh, you can actually, we're using Standard Array. You could actually do manual or you could do a point by, which is pretty cool. I don't know if I'll show the kids that. It's pretty advanced, but it's, it goes through and it shows you all your modifiers, your base score, your ability improvement, your racial bonus. So you know where all those numbers, <coughs> excuse me, where all those numbers are coming from. All right, gives them a background, military rank, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Hit next. Gives them equipment. Hit next. And then what you can do is you can view the character sheet in the app or you can hit export to PDF. So I'm going to export it. PDF generated. Actually, what I'm going to do is go to previous, go to next. I'm going to hit view character sheet. It's going to pop up here in a second. Sometimes the screen will go black, actually. All right, let's generate the character. And then I should be able to print it by going to um, the settings icon this wheel here and then go to export to at pdf and then here print now make sure your printer is on and hit print up in the corner and then we should be able to hear it i can hear it going over here i don't know if you'll be able to hear that so that's it basically four minutes and you can create a character very simply now i could have gone in there and picked equipment and all kinds of other stuff but you can still do that in the app after your character is created. But I was just wanted to show you how easy it is. So that is our um, human ranger. 12 hit points. It's got all of his uh, saving throws. That's basically all we're going to need here because they're not going to have any possessions to start because last um, campaign or last episode, they were bad. They were criminals. So they're going to be under in custody to start this one and be given an offer they can't refuse. I'm going to run them 
like it's Rogue One, right? Like they get to be captured by the rebels and do a mission for the rebels against the Empire. All right, great. So if you guys have any questions, uh, put them in the comments. And if you want to tell me about your D&D experiences, that would be awesome. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks. Smash like if this was of any value to you, please. That helps me a lot.